lift them up. We the chosen, we the chosen, and it's time to wake us up. Judas in the circles, nothing new that's below the sun. Thinking that you Baker in the field, throwing bullets, huh? God, he showed me love when I was going through the mud. He got my spirit feeling hot, no, I don't gotta hit no plug. A lot of hate, a lot of every time we show each other love. I ain't talking about the hood, but I'm working on new projects. Lord is coming back, gonna save his people, that's a promise. My people steady dying, and they come from lack of knowledge. Black man pay attention and start killing. Uh, black man pay attention and start killing all the proud. One the virtuous women, I don't want no summer work. I was young and chasing money, but my name ain't Mr. Carter. I've been looking for the father, think I turned into a stalker. Getting out the webs in the trap, Peter Parker. Body said he's dropping, bro, they itching for the pop. If we all come to God, if we coming all together under God, we finna rock it. The Lord, he made a way when there was nothing in my pocket. Hustle to the kingdom, I ain't it, but this a marathon. Transform my whole life, but I ain't making trying. Walking with the most, I tell the devil you can't break me. I don't want to shoot my brother with the Lord, I'm in safety. Passing trips to my brothers in the field, but I ain't brave. I ain't talking Damon Wayne's life is sending, brought me major pain. Healing from my scars, gotta do what I been say. Mm, yeah, finna turn the page. Switching my lane, I got the scriptures on my waist. Breaking up the chain, breaking up the chain. Breaking up them chains, breaking up the chains. Repent of all your sins, come back to the love. Faith in the Messiah and the Father, cause he is the boss. Learning from my lessons, cause I had to take a loss. I'm in the city, brothers dying, tired of seeing losses. No Ray Charles, my people cannot see the vision. Shalom family, I'm your brother Mark. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, brother Lama Wa, Shalom. First and foremost, praise the Most High, Ahaya by Hashem, Yeshai, Kodasha Wat. That's the Father's name, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? First and foremost, brother Lama Wa got that new cut. Mm -hmm. Praise the ah. Most High. Praise the Most High. Um, we hope y'all all out there have been doing good and uh, doing well. You know, it's been about it's been about two weeks since we've been here, but we right back. We right back to doing this work for the most high, coming stronger than ever, right? Uh. Today, I mean, today is gonna be an impactful lesson for those that have been following this work. Or if you're just stumbling across this, you know, ministers of darkness. That's what this lesson is called. The ministers of darkness. Ministers on your airways, the ministers giving you your news. We might even have a, uh, multiple volumes of this, right? Different parts of this of this lesson. We got some videos we want to play for y'all. If it be the will of the Father, we want to show and, you know, just bring forth some edification on these ministers of darkness that's programming the people's minds, the youth, starting at a young age from, you know, the music industry, the news stations, those that are behind the music, those that are giving you those record deals, that's giving you your publishing. You know, we often times hear a lot of excuses from our people that can identify the game being uh, played on us as far as the puppet masters that's controlling the money that's giving you your record deals that's giving you your your programs from the radio television and now in 2022 you know your internet those that are controlling the people through their narrative Uh, if you can get that, let's get what the word publishing means in a strong concordance because we have a lot of people saying, yeah, I own my publishing. He's, this, 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 this person's trying to own their publishing, right? Oh, they killed Prince because he was getting his publishing. Just the different things our people say. But what does that mean according to the word, if you can bring that out? Uh, so I got uh, the strong coordinates, concordance, so like you, to publish, as pronounced in the Greek, di diagolo, to publish abroad or proclaim. Mm -hmm. To publish to abroad, pro to proclaim. To proclaim what? Um, it says the usage I announce throughout the word, spread the news of, give notice of, or teach. Mm -hmm. So you're teaching. When you give your publishing throughout this world, this is what you teaching. This is what you give in the world. This is your record, your, your record. 
You want to own your publishing of what you give into the earth, right? Get, get Zechariah 8 and 16. Um, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 8 and verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. So we're supposed to speak truth to each other, right? But knowing when to be around the ones that you're around, right? And knowing when to use wisdom to bring forth the, the knowledge of the truth. Always speaking truth. And people don't like that light when it's shining, right? People don't like because this world is dark. They've been taught that evil is good and good is evil. Like the Most High says, right? Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. Uh -huh. Why is it sheep harness his doves? Let's 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 get some more scripture. Let's get Jeremiah four and twenty two. Why is it serpent serpents harness his doves? Like it. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, and verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So we wise to go do some evil. We wise to build some wickedness in this world but to do good why is it such a struggle for for us to do good it's like it's easy to just say oh esau oh the white man the white man brother the white man but if you could identify the traps and stumbling blocks that the white man that esau has put out there for you shouldn't you know how to maneuver around these stumbling blocks because with our people you see once you see our people getting over on each other. You're like, oh, I don't mess with that person no more. Oh, that person was doing this. They was doing that. You don't even go back there. But when the wicked program you to get these evil stumbling blocks, you just can't resist. Even though you know it's down for it. It's your downfall. From destroying yourself within your temple. From cigarettes, drugs, too much consumption of liquor. Pharmaceuticals, the sorcery, the, the the pills, all the entertainment, the lust. So we want to just show, we want to bring in this video, many of our people know who Charleston White is, you know, activist in Texas, but also uses uh, his platform on social media to provoke, to be provocative towards the rappers. To bring people into other information as far as his uh, point of view on things. But there's always a missing gap, right? Because a lot of people not coming all the way into this. But baby steps. Being all things to all men that you could gain a few. But we want to bring forward this video just to show the gap. The difference of generations of how someone that was born... Over 40 years ago versus someone that's in their 20s or 30s. This disconnect. This, I don't know, them young, that young generation. All those old heads, that's the old way. Because we've gotten away from our book, right? On top of just no structure. Just, just showing the different mindset of good and evil. What our people are programmed, right? So let's, let's watch. We obviously blame the rapper, but we ignore who's behind the rapper. Ain't yeah. nobody. It's the white man. No, you goddamn lie. No, it's the white man. No, 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 no. Listen, when you show up to my record label with your killing nigga music, I ain't behind what you wrote. The white man is for sure. You wrote him before you got here. And you just gave a million for it. But but you wrote it. But, you but, but listen, I'm a, listen, listen, brother, brother, I'm a businessman. Right. I ain't got nothing to do with what, what you wrote. 
You wrote the lyrics talking about killing your neighbor. But you didn't tell me, no, this isn't what listen, you're supposed brother, to be I'm a, writing. Listen, you brother, said, brother, I'm going to give you a million dollars. Brother, 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 but listen. So you encouraged it. No, I didn't. With you, the utmost dollar amount. No, 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 I didn't. I'm a businessman, and I'm about business. Because when you stop rapping this, and I get a Nas X, and he can rap gay, I'm going to sign him, too. <laughs> you showed up with these gay killer lyrics, brother. I ain't got nothing to do with what's in your mind and what you want to project. I just know your destruction makes money. <laughs> you came to provide y'all destruction, and it's going to benefit me and my family. Why would I turn you down? Do you turn down the pregnant drug addict who's trying to buy crack from you, brother? Mm. What about the girl who may look underage and selling? Do you turn her down? What about your homeboy's woman who's in a compromised state and you can fuck her and she come to you? So you turn her down. So you want me to turn you down and I can make trillions off your ignorance. The schools don't turn you away when your mother comes sign you up and register you. So why do you want me to turn you away? You want to be famous. You want to be a rapper. And the only way you can do this is if you come to me. You're not bringing me nothing positive that I can promote to Disney. I can make you richer than you can ever be if you wrote me some Disney lyrics. Hey, if you just want to be like Nick Cannon, I could make you a star forever. But you want to be a star just for a small time, so you write gangster lyrics because you don't want to live long. You don't want to be like Nick Cannon. So you don't, you're not a Nick Cannon kind of guy, so you show up this gangster, you and all your gangster buddies from your hood wrote these lyrics. All of that hate that you're professing, I didn't whisper that in your ear. I didn't pick your mother and your father when they made it and your dad left your mom, you know, to go f the chair. I didn't have nothing to do with that guy. Why are you blaming me as a white man? I never molested you. I didn't kick in your door and rob you and tie you up. I didn't kill your father. Why are you blaming me, the white man? I got a record label, brother. We just want to sell records to your people. And if we don't have these records to sell to your people, how will your people make music? Your people don't have record labels. How will they make music if it wasn't for us? So you want to blame me? I'm getting you out of the ghetto. Now that you're out of the ghetto, you're still writing these lyrics. That's, that's called manipulation. That's what that is. Now that you're out of the ghetto. That's manipulation that is fine. Brother, now that you're out of the ghetto, you got $100 million. Why are you still trying to sign He ain't got $100 million. He got 100000 why don't you it take? So I started my right. I started my record, right. I started my record hey, label. Right. You're right. But I started my record label with twenty thousand. Why can't you start yours? You got a hundred thousand dollars with one million followers, sir. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. Why can't you start your record label with yours when they started Black Wall Street with less than a hundred thousand dollars? Mm -mm. And you have more resources now. Mm -mm. It ain't that easy, right? It is that easy. It ain't that easy. Charleston saying... White done touched a million dollars talking on the internet without a record label. How can you do that? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you Charleston why. Charleston White don't have why. a machine. I'm going to tell you why. And he, he's, he's shadow banned. He's not why. signing nobody. And his people hate him. He don't sell records. How can he do that? I can tell you why. How? I can tell you why. How? It's the miseducation. Like we stated earlier in our interview, Okay. So if these young guys not knowing that, right, these young niggas, they outside, they hustling. They trying to do whatever it is they can do to get back. You feel who, me? Hold, so, hold on. So who miseducated you? Who miseducated who? Yeah. Who, who? Who miseducated you? The guys? artist? Yeah, the young guy that's trying to come up and yeah, become an artist? Yeah, who miseducated Who miseducated him? Yeah. The public school system that they grew up in. Well, why didn't their parents educate him? The parents were educated. The parents were miseducated. Well, okay. Well, how is the parents getting miseducated? And you guys... I mean, let's not let's not act like parents, the title parents, supposed to mean know-it-all. You know what I'm trying to say? Listen, listen, a lot of these parents were 14, 15, 16 my, my years mama, old. My mama had... My brother at 15 had me at 17. Exactly, my mama so didn't, you know. My mama didn't graduate from high school, but she okay. was one of the most educated women I know. That's why I'm educated. Okay. I had a private tutor, even though my mama was uneducated. Okay. Our ancestors couldn't read or write. They was very uneducated. They was miseducated. Our ancestors, how did they do better than us? My mama don't have a high school diploma. How can that woman raise me to be so smart and educated and she was uneducated? Yeah. How? 
She made sure I read books. Boy, when I come home from work, y'all better have that homework laid out. And if I get her at home tonight at 3 in the morning, you ain't got that homework laid out, you ain't been took a bath, because I'm going to go in there and check that soap. And if that soap ain't wet, I'm waking y'all ass up. You're going to do that homework, and you're going to bathe. That woman made sure we went to school and paid attention. She made sure we valued education with her miseducated, uneducated ass. No high school diploma, but this woman made it out of poverty, and we was walking on marble flows, nigga, ordering our Christmas gifts out the Nemo Marcus catalog in 81. How? And she a teenage mother. Mama owned dope. Granddaddy abandoned her. How? No excuses, huh? Come on, my nigga. All right, family. Now, we know Charleston, you know, he could use that language, right? But in these times, we got to we gotta really show what's really going on full-fledged if we want to get some souls to the most high. If we want people to repent and really see the brainwashing that's going on, right? And we can't keep making excuses. If we could just run here, make an excuse for everything... Well, when do we get some correction about ourselves? Let's get the book of Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 32, verse 17. From the parenting, you know, the Most High say, Cursing your children unto the third, fourth generation of them that hate me and showing love and mercy to them that love him, right? So if you're not teaching your children the right, and you're getting high with your children, you telling them to go pimp on that girl, you tell them to go sell that dope, you're going to have this, this product in your children. So it starts at home, right? Bring that out. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32 and verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Every, every time, doing what they want to do, finding an excuse. Finding an excuse. Go to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. We can't find an excuse. It's, time, it's high time that we wake up and repent and know that this kingdom is at hand because the wicked rulers of this world are not playing. You see, they shut the world down in a week in 2020. They could have been cleaned all this up. So once you identify, once you get the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom, like the book of Proverbs says, then you come back, you repent, and you see the traps. You don't fall for the traps. Bring that up. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14 and verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Mm -hmm. the Even in laughter, death. the heart is sorrowful. The ways and the of end death. Of no, that's it. The ways of death. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 6. Uh, start at uh, verse 6. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 6. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. And when thou walkest by the way. And when thou liest down. And when thou risest up. And you, you got to teach your children... And it's a generation of the Most High's people that's finding out that they're Israel and teaching their children to write, training up a child in a way. So when he's grown, he won't depart from it, paraphrasing uh, Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. So now that you're teaching your children the ways of the Most High and His law, statutes, and commandments, they won't depart from it because this world messes up your mind. Get that. Second Corinthians chapter four. No, we won't. <clears throat> four and three. Four. Start at three. verse three. It's the book of Second Corinthians, chapter four, and verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And whom the God of this world hath blinded 
the minds of them which believe not. He blinds your mind. The prince of the airways. He blinds your mind with all this, all this chaos that they're just pumping that billions of dollars into. Get, get Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. He blinds your mind. You can't see. You're going to say, oh, the white man gave it to me. All right, back to work. Oh, the white man. Oh, back to work. That's why us in our ministry, we ain't out here just shouting at Esau all day. We, me and Brother Lamawai, what we have seen with our own eyes from Israel in this Northern California, what we have seen with our own eyes, what Israel has done to each other. You know, I, don't, I don't walk up the street worry about Esau. I just know he got the programming. We just know Esau got the programming. We know Esau got the programming. We're not worried about his programming. Because our iniquity is at an end. Our iniquity is at an end. You're not going through this no more. Now it's just it's just psychological warfare. You're not going through this no more. Let's get some more video. Let me bring out that Isaiah. Yeah, bring that out real quick. Con, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Mm -hmm. You can't have light without this. Now, like we was bringing forth, you know, Charles to say he believes in the most high and he know the, and it talks about the Bible. But yeah, he got videos where he talked about Israelites because he has this thing where he says, well, I'm playing a character for the Internet. But what I do in real life is against the rap industry. And, you know, people will do things on this social media to bring some attention. So in a way, it is waking our people up to see the game being played. Who knows what could come from what he's doing. I mean, that's why we don't kind of jump on anyone that's trying to clean up Israel. As long as you're trying to teach the most highest people the law, whether you know that you teach them all, just the, the, the baby steps of just cleaning our people up. Because some people might not want to hear from us. They might want to hear from someone else. But it's all it's all the same work, right? If, if, if it's all, it's the most high that's pulling his people. So we don't got time to be just jumping on nobody else it's too much work to be done harvest is plenty labors are a few right so we don't got time to be trying to worry about what no other israelites is doing we see it though we see we see the madness but hey if that's helping you do better with your uh cleaning your life up that's good brother that's good sister that's good because this you born into this war
if karma is real? Why karma just bad then, poor-minded black people? Y'all can't answer them questions, homie. That's some tough Because y'all are because y'all are operating from an emotional feeling standpoint behind something that you idolize. Mm. And when you idolize something, you detach yourself from God. So us knowing this word, though we know that those answers, those questions could be answered, right? With this Bible. When when will Esau get his instruction? They don't even know who Esau is, right? But we know that's the forefather of the white man, right? We know that the Amalekites is that seed of the Edomites ruling the world. We we proven all things. We proven all things. He said, when do they get theirs for karma? When do when do they get when do they get payback for this? He said, when they get theirs for this. But we know the most high got a judgment for that. The most high got a judgment for that. Go Ezekiel, uh, let's get the book Ezekiel chapter 36. Matter of fact, no, let's get Isaiah chapter 34. Let's get Isaiah 34. What does the Most High have to say? But see, people despise this word and love oppression and they stay therein. Because you don't believe this word, you don't have the answers. You're just going everywhere else, all through the internet. Bring that out from the top. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear. And hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear. And all that is therein, the world, and all the things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountain shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. All the fallen spirits, all the fallen spirits that the Gentile nations is worshiping. Uh huh. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. Mm -hmm. I the swore. The Edomites. That's what the Most High is bringing forth. See, this week, I wanted to see how many people that say they believe in the Bible, in Jesus, how many people knew that Christ was coming back for war? None of them knew. None of them knew he was coming back for war. You go to church your whole life and don't know that. Christ is coming back for war. You think he's coming back for hugs. A lot of people don't know that because they not teaching and they not reading. They think it's just some fairy tale, just love, 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 love just, just love Caesar Borgia book, that image. More prophecy. Let's get Ezekiel chapter 36. Let's start at verse five. He said, when are they getting their karma? Well, brother, if you live to see it, if you keep in these laws and you live to see it, if you repentful and get some of that, that get that real baptism and you keep in law, statutes, commandments and you pulling your brothers and sisters up out of this darkness the best you can through the spirit. Bring that out. Come. Um, Says start at verse five, or verse six, uh, 36 and verse five. Come on, it's the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the most high power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their pos possession. Because they With went the through this whole earth. They have Jerusalem. The Edomites have Jerusalem. They have America. They've colonized the whole earth. But what the most high say? 
with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel, and say unto the mountains, and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys. Thus saith the Most High Power, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus saith the Most High, I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their, their shame. Mm -hmm. Hold it there. Let's jump it over to 13. Uh, jumping over to verse 13. Thus saith the Most High, because they say unto you, thou, thou land devourest up men and hast bereaved thy nations. Therefore, thou shalt devour men no more, neither bereave thy nations any more, saith the Most High Power. Neither will I cause men to hear in the in thee the, sa the shame, Salakia. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen any more. Neither shalt thou bear the reproach of the people any more. Neither shalt thou cause thy nations to fall any more. Save the Most High God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanliness of a removed woman. Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land. And for their idols, wherewith they had polluted it. Now, <clears throat> even in ancient times, before Esau was even ruling us, we was at war with each other, spilling each other's blood. Same thing we're doing today. And the idols that we were dealing with, same thing today. American Idol they got for you, defending your favorite rapper you never met, getting mad at people for telling you some truth, loving and weeping over a rapper more not saying nothing's wrong with 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 uh having some uh no compassion for people that's not what we're saying but just falling all down over your favorite rapper someone you never met hold that get get second edges behold what you got just weeping and 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 but 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 not worried about the most high, not not the one that created you. Let's get second Ezra chapter five. In uh verse thirty-three. Con, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter five, and verse thirty-three. And I said, Speak on, my Lord. Then said he unto me. Thou art sore troubled in mind for Israel's sake. Lovest thou that people better than he that made them? You love them more than you love the Most High? And I made them? Because Ezra, he was, he was sorrowful about the Most High's people. So we got to make sure that we focused on the Most High. Keep reading that. Read that next verse. Um, verse 34. And I said, no, Lord, but a very grief have I spoken for my reigns pain me every hour while I labor to comprehend the way of the most high and to seek out part of his judgment. Now, he had compassion on his people, Israel, and the most high had to correct him, right? But it seems like even in this truth, it's so much more confusion with this truth, right? A lot of people more worried about just wanting to spank somebody and be lord over them. Oh, brother, let me show you these precepts, brother. Brother, brother, you're not doing it right. No, those are wrong fringes. You not really, and you not even gotten even got baptized yet. You ain't you ain't showing no mercy. You not in it to get to wake people up and and, and to really show mercy and you care about their soul. You just worried about looking like a super duper. Uh, Goku Israelite. So, 
Knowledge puffeth up, like the words say. But what are we really in it for? Because these ministers of darkness, they're working overtime. Get Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Hold that. Let's get let's finish up what you had though in Ezekiel. I lost Ezekiel. What uh, chapter? Yeah, uh, Ezekiel uh, thirty six and verse. Let's go to uh, verse sixteen. Huh. Picking up at Ezekiel chapter thirty six and verse sixteen. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, "Son of man." When the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanliness of a removed woman. Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they shed upon the land. For their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way. And according to their doings, I judged them. And when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, these are the people of the Lord and are gone forth out of his land. But I had pity for mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the most high power. I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Most High, saith the Most High Power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and I will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you an heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues and ye shall keep my judgments and do them and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your God but you got to do your part you got to do your part to see it through and understand that you're born into a war especially this younger generation You know, had one of my good friends seen this good brother, one of my friends from the world that 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 I grew up with, right? He said, "Man, that generation scared me." When a young brother uh, that we seen because they just don't have what the little bit of what they don't even have what we were coming up on. Like it's like just idols, idols. We living in a we living in a day and age where it's just idolatry idolatry in, in in the form of man with all these with all these this entertainment the young rappers getting millions of dollars and just even with the old with the older generation the, the all the news reports still wearing that mask mm. still like scared of that it was scared just following their favorite news channel and they reading from a teleprompter, and they not even wearing a mask, and they telling you this. You you never seen any of them wearing a mask and, and giving you the news. So how <laughs> were they really scared of it? <clears throat> Let's get Matthew chapter six verse twenty four, and we have more video because we're gonna also get into some of these puppet masters that have been around that I've seen since a young kid behind. Each and every different record label, from this record label to that record label. Why are you always, why don't you go, why don't none of your artists look like you? You keep coming to get the house of Judah to perform 
and help destroy the minds of others. That's why the young brother did have a good point. Well, we know who's behind it. But then he had a good point also. You coming to me with these lyrics. See, they set the foundation in the programming. But what's in your heart? Do you want to rap about murder, murder, kill, kill? Let's get that. Let's get Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. This is the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. No man can serve two masters. For either, for either he will hate the one and love the other. Mm -hmm. Because you see that people that's trying to serve the most high, even if they're in darkness and they had to fear the Lord. They're they respecting that word when you bring it out. It's like, okay, I want to hear. Okay. I, I came up on that. Yeah, I probably got away from the church. You know, I probably, uh, but, but, uh, but I know right from wrong. You know, okay, what does it say? Okay. But the ones that despise this word and trust in oppression, they're just looking for, we just got to figure out a way to come together and get this money. We got to get masses money. We got to get masses money with his face on it. We're we going to win like that. Well, how do you think we all oh, they just got the control? We got to get this money. Matthew 11 and 24. We got to get this money. We got to get this bread. It's the book of Matthew chapter 11 and verse 24. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment so like for thee. That's not what I wanted. Hmm. Rusty. That's not the one I want. No, I don't want the... Uh... Can't serve God and mammy. Oh, you get that? I'm going to read this whole 24. That's what Matthew it was. 6, it was already there. <laughs> it's the same one. 6 and 24. Uh -huh. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammy. That's what he's trying to bring out. You can't serve the most high and the money. You can't be a servant to the money. Get your you, get, get your money to take care of yourself, but you don't got to be a servant to the money. If it's going against the laws of the Most High, you could have been rich if you was doing some evil, but you're not trying to get down like that. Before we get some video, let's get uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, and let's start at uh, verse 13. And it's the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 13. For such are false prophets, it's like the false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his, minist if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. Whose end shall be according to their works. Mm -hmm. His ministers. He has ministers. Let's get that what you got on them on that on the ministers. Those servants. Uh, this is the strong concordance to uh, minister. 
It says, so like you pronounce it, diakonos, a servant or minister. It says a waiter, servant, then of any one who performs any service or an administration administrator. Mm -hmm. What are they administrating? Satan's plans, Satan's destructions. Let's get that. Let's get some on uh Leo Cohen, who has been around as long as I can remember. Oh, I see that. Who is this? Who's this white guy? Who's it? Who's who's this guy that's always around? My favorite rappers growing up, right? Let's see what he has to say, like the young brother was bringing out. Let's hear from their own words. But I think it helped change the course of the crack epidemic. I don't know what's this opioid thing, man. It's, it's well, being a crackhead like wasn't cool you, back then. Being what? a crackhead wasn't cool. Now it's it, it seems like they're they're making it cool to be drinking lean syrup and it's the most dangerous. It's the most dangerous and thing and that's facing, um, um, our society. Are you so, so why sign an artist that would promote that? Um, b because I, I I already answered that question. You weren't paying attention. Um, she asked me talent or issues and i said talent but I, I i have to i i can't give up on people i was saying that's hypocritical though you're, you're saying um, it's opportunistic yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i got i got people to feed <laughs> um oh, i got a i got a i got a business to run <laughs> you're gonna make dame dash take this clip and call you a culture vulture who's dame dash you brought him up i don't even know him i don't even know him so you bring him his name up. I don't even know him. So y'all made a lot of money together. Made a lot of Come money. Come on, Leo. Don't do that to him. I don't know him. He has a family to feed. He's not worried about how many people it destroys. He's not worried about it. And he's been around. He started 300 Entertainment before they sold it to Warner with Kevin Lyles, right? Had artists like Young Thug sold the company and then Young Thug goes to jail. So you see who's behind who's behind all this destruction. And it's like these people just move around. Next, next, next. So let's get some more video. Let's see how boastful. See him back in the day. Because you see him talking there. But let's see him back in the day. Did you feel Herb was ready to run a label in contrast to just being uh, a and all? Until the motherfucker took it from me. Okay, I would have had him still in fucking a and for Def Jam had he not said, fuck that. I'm making you too much money. And um, Irv took. Every great person took what they had. I didn't give him shit. He grabbed it. Snatched it and um, um, did it on his own because I would have had him still in AR for us had he not um, had the nuts to go out on his own and bring it. Because you know, the, a lot of these AR people are comfortable as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? No, they, 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 they prefer being, you know, um, you know, revered AR people that don't do dick. Um, Irv, you know, brought it. And then uh, moved on. I'm happy to have a peace. He's happy to just have a peace. Is what he say. Let's get Ephesians chapter 2. Let's get Ephesians chapter 2 because you never see no diss records about him. I mean, most people don't even know who he is. Most people don't know who owns the record labels that's saying, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to pick that record. You're going to put that one out instead of that one. Put that record out. Get some of that drill music going. Because I have a percentage in the, in the private prison systems as well. Get Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. Um, it's the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 2. Wherein, in time past, he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of power of the air, 
the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past and the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us. So the prince, the power of the air, the airways controlling your mind, that, that spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. So when you disobedient to the most highest law, obviously you getting taken by that serpent who's controlling this whole thing by the serpent seed. The puppet masters is like this. So if you could say, oh, it's the white man. Well, you know you're trying to use me. You know you're trying to get over on me. Let's get 1 Corinthians chapter 3. First Corinthians chapter 3 and uh let's start at Let's get uh 18. It's the book of First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Mm -hmm. and, and again, the most high knoweth the thoughts of the wise that are vain. Mm -hmm, because you better become a fool for Christ. You better make sure you getting all from Christ and not from this world because the wisdom of this world is foolishness to know that these people are playing us, been playing us, and you won't even change the narrative. You won't go get the bag and then come back and clean it up and switch the game up on them. You like, nope, just more destruction. You and your big house, your children go to private school, and you still destroying your people. You destroying the Israelites. You destroying God's chosen people. You just get Zechariah one and fifteen because you furthering this. And to he who know better. Is sin, right? So once you know better, you stop following this programming. You stop getting down with the serpent seed. Bring that out. Is Zechariah 1 and 17? 1 and 15. So like you. It's the book of Zechariah chapter 1 and 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased. And they helped forward the affliction. And that's what they do. They help forward the affliction. But that can't be your excuse if you're doing evil. No, nah, we could say that's this is what the... If you doing evil, you can't say they're making me do it. Nah. Nah, you doing abominations. You getting down with the alphabet people and you putting on them little, them little dresses. They, they can buy you out. They can't buy us out. We looking to see it all fall down. We looking for Babylon's destruction like the like the word said. Uh -huh. And we're going to get that too. Go to, uh, let's get Jeremiah. No, let's get Ezekiel 28. Let's get Ezekiel 28 verse 12. It's the book of Ezekiel. Chapter no, no, no. 28 and verse 12. No, no, no. Let's get a, a, let's get a, let's start it. Let's bring it out from the top. Come. No, no. The let's, let's, it's like, let's start at 12. Let's start at 12. Come, come. Ezekiel 28 and verse 12. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus and say unto him, 
Thus saith the most high power, thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherubim that covereth. And I have set thee so thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have, they have filled the midst of thee with violence. And thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. And I will destroy thee, O covering cherub. From the midst of the stones of fire. Because mm -hmm, old Lucifer, that fallen one, he was made perfect. All the diamonds, all that bling bling, right? He had a beautiful voice. He was singing in the midst of the congregation. And this is what he used. He wants you to be in his image, not the image of the Most High. He wants you working for him at all times. And his ministers, they do not mind selling you out, Israel. Not losing no sleep over it. Like he said, he got family to feed. He ain't worried about... He ain't worried about you, sh sh shy rat. He's not worried about you, rappers dying in L.A. He's not worried about your communities. He's not losing no sleep. He'd rather die than to be broke like you, Israel. I mean, tch, that money is root of all evil. Follow that money and where it starts at, right? Get, get Proverbs chapter 27, verse 20. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 27 and verse 20. Hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of men are never satisfied. Mm -mm, he ain't never satisfied. And it's more than enough room in Hades. Go to Isaiah chapter 5. <clears throat> Let's go uh, verse 11. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink, that continue until night. Turn up. Till, till wine inflame them. Mm -hmm. And the harp and the vow, the tabret and pipe and wine are in their feast. A good musical feast. A good but they regard like mm -hmm, go ahead but they regard not the work of the most high neither consider the operation of his hands therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst therefore Hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp. And he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. Beware. Last video. Beware.
He's just everywhere making your dreams come true. He's everywhere. He's been here for a lot. He don't care about them people. Look, you're good, bud. You, you want to make some, just like, just like Charleston was bringing out earlier. This is an example of that right there. And there's so many more that we don't even know about. This is just one of many. I know a few. Let's get uh let's get Amos 2 and 11. It's the book of Amos, chapter 2 and verse 11. And I raised up of your sons for prophets and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, the say children, of the Most High? The children of Israel are the prophets. Go to Jeremiah chapter 23 and 20. We are the prophets. We have the voice in the earth. And they using our voice for evil and wickedness to build their kingdom. They've been doing it. Changing the narrative. It went from talking about love. It went to talking about Gangster rap, then the dope selling, then the bling bling and the girls, with the video vixens, and the trap music, and now it's to the drill music, the murder, murder, kill, kill. Who could talk about killing those those good old, we need more of that killer Israelite mu uh, music. We need more of that stuff. That stuff sells real good. We need some of that. NBA young boy. We need some of that little dirt. We need some of that Chicago music, that murder music. It's it's keeping us rich. But Satan really in it for souls. He don't care about no money. He in it for souls. He in it for keeps. He's playing for keeps. Why you stealing your people? Why you killing your people? And this was going on even before. Get Ezekiel 9 and 9. Happening way back then in the land of Israel. Being raised without fathers now, not able to control your emotions. Putting stuff in the weed, getting the men all emotional, turning these women all masculine, all jacked up. You can't go. You you need that blunt more than you need water these days. That's what's going on with our with our youth. Bring that out. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 and verse 9. Then said he unto me. The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great. And the land is full of blood and the city full of perverseness. For they say the most high have forsaken the earth and the most high seeth not. Mm -hmm. We was doing this way back when. So can we just keep on blaming the white man? Ministers of darkness. That's what this is. Ministers of darkness. Go to Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 20. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 20. The anger of the Most High shall not return until he hath executed, until he hath performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Mm -hmm. Talking about, I'd like to thank God for this award. God is good. God did. And it's like, which God? Because you got to start speaking some righteousness. Mm. You can't just think that that gain is godliness. Get that. Hold that what you got. Get 1 Timothy chapter 6. The Lord has been good to me. May the Most High have mercy on all of us. Because this is a wicked, this a, this world is so evil and wicked. Babylon is so wicked that this whole culture, for the culture, all we hear all day, the culture, culture. Come here, culture vultures still in our culture. No, this is your culture right here. They stole you. You're not even, you ain't even hitting close yet. You don't even know your real culture yet. You don't know King James yet. Or destroy people. No knowledge. <laughs> it's like it. 
Put water. Let's get let's get six uh Let's start at verse uh, three. It's the book of First Timothy, chapter six and verse three. <clears throat> if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yeshua Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to the to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doubting about questions and strifes of words. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil submissings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that again, so like it, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. But godliness with con contentment is great gain for we bought nothing for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out and having food and raiment let us be there therewith content but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts <laughs> which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through, through with many sorrows. Yeah, because <clears throat> when that money come like that, you just trying to keep it going. You think it's from God. But like the word said, there be many that be called gods. First Corinthians chapter eight. There be many that be called gods. But <clears throat> they've destroyed history. Didn't tell us. Didn't the people don't know this is a history book and prophetic book. That's why we must do this work. Anyone watching this got some work to do. You got to pull people in. It's a light thing. Like it says Isaiah 49. It's a light thing. You and you are you are you too. Embarrassed to proclaim the truth throughout the earth. To represent the most high. You afraid you're not going to look cool. By the same destroyed people that's lost. You trying to be cool for a blind people walking out here. Nah. Let your light shine. And anyone trying to turn it down, slow you down from moving about the most highest business, man, get up out of here. We moving with soldiers. We soldiers for Christ. Get up out of here. Right. We not waiting for no self-proclaimed uh, leader in Israel talking about how we supposed to move about the most about the most highest business? And he done gave this to us? This truth? You better be looking at how you can help a young brother trying to do this work. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Daniel chapter 9. <clears throat> Let's start at verse 11. The book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed the law even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is, is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven, hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Nothing has been done to us under the whole earth. Nothing in this, when they get to talking about the Holocaust and they get to talking about uh, all what's happening in all these other nations across the world, ain't nothing been done under the sun as hath been done unto us. 
Nothing under the whole heaven has been done unto us. What's been done to us? What's been thrown at us? Nothing in this world has been done in what we do to each other. <clears throat> and now we're doing it to each other more than ever and trying to find excuses about it. Take some accountability. Stop taking a drug. Stop taking a poison. Stop taking a prison. Stop taking a music. Tell them you don't need your you don't need that money. You're gonna build with your brothers. That's what mm. we're trying to do. If you out there, reach out. If you're trying to really build, if you just here to just oh, I'm an Israelite and put on the garments and the fringes, nah, we want we want the, who's really trying to be about the most highest business. That's what we in it for. Mm. That's what we in it for. Who really ready to do this? Go to uh Revelation chapter 18. <clears throat> Are you out here playing? I'll get back to that. And then boom, your life over with. You got a judgment. And you can't utter a word before the most high. Because you debating and contemplating if this book is real. Oh, I hear that true. I hear some, but but now nah, God's gonna forgive me for what I did because I'm so special out of six billion people and, and, and more that have crossed over into the bosom of Abraham and Sheol. I'm so special. <clears throat> Most high, like, okay, next. You see creation, you see the stars when you go out at night, you see the, the, the many different animals, you see us in flesh. You think there's no most high, you think there's no brain functioning behind this you think you're so smart when you're nothing but ashes and dirt going on and on good uh revelation 18 let's start let's just get verse two real quick um book of revelation chapter 18 and verse two and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon the great is falling is falling and it's become the habitation of devils. And that's what it's become, a habitation of devils everywhere. Everywhere you look, you see the spirits. You're like, store, grocery store, everywhere. Habitation of devils everywhere you go out here in Babylon. Schools, your children, school teachers, all that. You're just like, you better maneuver around here. It's a habitation of devils. Finish reading. Huh. And the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk the, of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed for fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because it's plagues coming here. You're teaching there's no God. You're teaching all this, all this sinful sodomite behavior, giving awards for it. you teaching everything against the most high God. And on top of that, you're giving it to his people that he gave the law to. Let's pray the most high that we see the judgment of Babylon and that we, we make it through. Let's bring that up. Finish reading. Verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as, as she hath rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. <clears throat> and the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, Selakia. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death, and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. 
for strong is the most high power who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her. For they shall see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thy so like it, and all thine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and slaves uh -huh. and souls of men and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee and thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing and saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, alas, alas, that great city wherein we made, so like it, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness for in one hour she is made desolate rejoice over her thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets for the most high hath avenged you on her and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians. Because mm -hmm, we've got a lot of musicians here. Uh -huh. And of pipers and trumpets shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman of whatsoever craft he, he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the, of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Mm-hmm. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Sorcery by their pharmacia being deceived. They've been planning it for a long time. This plan is ancient. Edom, the serpent seed, and their father Lucifer been planning all this a long time. So why are people still trying to worry about is this real or not? Praise and bless the Most High. Bless you all.
Thanks for watching. We pray that this was edifying for you. Um, pray that you pass it along and that it could wake someone else up to get some repentance and some knowledge about the Most High. Because, I mean, what's coming next, family, I mean, the world's just been sitting back. But we see they've been getting it together. They're not even talking about the, the, the boost and all that stuff no more. They're not talking about that stuff no more. They met their quota. And if you felt for it, if you felt for it or your loved one, pray for them. Um, tell them to come back to the law. You never know what the most high if he'll leave a blessing, you know? Anything from you, Brother Lama Watt? Nah. Uh, nothing. I mean, man, like you said in the beginning, we know we see a lot of hard people doing a lot of stuff to hard people. More than uh, Esau, but it's like we doing this work for y'all, Israel. I mean, you know, other nations also that want to come into this to this light, but we here for y'all. So any questions y'all got, hit us, reach out. That's right. We here. Bless you all. Shalom. And the Lord shall Shalom. scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, would God it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess flicked thee. And I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time, will I bring you again 